Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends, and once again, thank you for stopping by. So, here's a TRF project that I've been itching to get started on, but I've kept adding to it. Um, but I now have everything here to make a start on it, hence why I'm making the very first video on this series. Um, because this is just going to be one of probably, well this will 100% be the best TRF car project I've ever done. And as I get into it, you'll find out why. But very basically, and I'll go into a lot more detail about this, throughout this video series, we're first of all going to take the Exotec Plus 8 wheelbase extender out of this car and fit it into my TRF. We're going to take the front axles off this one because they're not the Tamiya ones. They take a bigger wheel, which is this carpet kind of, or AstroTurf kind of tyre. I'm going to fit them to mine and then clean these wheels and tyres up and they're going to go on to mine with the plus eight and then that's finished. And then the rest of this 201, then in a different video, will get converted using this kit to the TRF 201 XR. Aluminium metal chassis, longer wheelbase, so cool. Um, my eyes twitching, I do apologise. And then after that video, we'll be then converting the 201 XR to using this conversion set to the TRF 201 XM mid motor. Oh my god, so cool. And I've got a super cool body set, body set to go on it as well. So that's this whole project, but let's put some meat on the bone and actually talk about it. So there is a little bit of a story time, I'm afraid, which you guys and girls must bore you to death. What happened was, I was on Facebook Marketplace, this was a long time ago now, and a TRF201 came up for sale. I think it was about 180 Canadian dollars. Now, obviously, I've got a Mint 201, which I absolutely adore. Um, which I'll show you when I when I bring a camera over to show you this one with the Exotech bit. I'll show you mine as well because it's worth showing on camera. But um, yeah, so I contacted the guy, and it it wasn't so much a 201 I was after, although that was cheap as chips. It had tons of spare wheels and tires and body sets. The spares it had were awesome, and you know, for 180 Canadian dollars, it was well worth it. So I contacted the guy, and he eventually got back to me, and I said, we kind of got into a communication. I said, look, I really want that. I'll come and collect it tomorrow. Tomorrow, this would have been um, from memory. No, sorry, this was a Friday I found this. I found this on a Friday, and I was contacting him. Um, and because it sort of took so long communication, I'd arranged to pick it up on the Sunday. So on the Saturday morning, I've got up and I'm kind of, I've, I'm sort of waiting for this guy to respond to me. So I didn't have anything else to do. So I was kind of started thinking, well, what are you going to do with that 201? I don't want two 201s in the collection. Um, so I went down a TRF rabbit hole and I cannot tell you just how enjoyable it was. I've said it many times, numerous times on this channel. I love learning new stuff I never knew about, obviously with Tamiya it's just awesome and there's so much that I don't know so when I when I when I get into something that I can get my teeth into which is this I just I lose all time I lo time just doesn't go so I spent all day Saturday going down this rabbit hole now I can't remember quite where the opening to the rabbit hole was but I probably typed in something like Tamiya TRF201 custom build something like that I wanted to see something different anyway Eventually what comes up is this conversion kit, which I didn't know existed. Although I absolutely love TRF cars, and I've got quite a few in my collection, I'm no expert by any means. So, this TRF 201 XR conversion kit. So basically what this kit does, and I'll put a picture up now of what's inside this box. That's what you get. So basically, if you had a 201... You could buy this conversion kit and basically the front and end, the front end and the back end bolts onto this new chassis with this sort of really slim body set, body and wing that's in here. So the foot, everything you need, if as long as you've got a 201, everything else you need to make it an XR is in this box. So I was like, that is really intriguing because it really kind of makes it nothing wrong with a 201 bathtub chassis. It's just how this looks with this extended wheelbase. Um, and I was like, oh, that could be cool. So I started looking for one of these kits. Now, obviously, you you experts or you TRF boys and girls out there will know these are not ready, readily available. Discontinued ages ago. 
Um, so getting one would be a nightmare. But I thought, don't let that put you off. Let's just... So I'm looking at the XR, and then I come across... And this, this just went... Poof, this blew my mind. Then I came across the conversion kit to convert a Tamiya 201 XR to the Tamiya TRF 201 XM, which is this kit. So... As a t the 201, if you know it, the motor's right at the back of the car, hangs, hangs out the back end. This is a conversion that puts the mid the motor mid-mount, a little bit more of a modern setup, you would say. So I had a look. So anyway, let me put some pictures up. So this is what the XR chassis looks like. Now, this is a picture from Tamiya. That's what the chassis, once it's converted, looks like. Um, and this is the only picture I could find of the car with the body shell on, but it does have big bars on it, where you obviously the tail one uses standard small bar aeration shocks. So that's kind of what it looks like. And I, I, initially, I was so happy to, you know, that was the kind of pro, that was the goal of the project. Anyway, then I came across the XM, and I'd seen the 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 thing about the XM is the conversion kit, it comes with three massive pieces of gearbox blue bling. Both gearbox sides of the Tamiya blue, and then there's the motor plate, which all attaches together. So the whole back end of that car, oh, it's not so much the back end, but, you know, the gearbox and the mid-motor mount is all Tamiya blue, and I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen such a chunk of blue alloy before from Tamiya, and obviously against the goldish metal chassis, it just looks off the chart. So then I jumped onto Tamiya USA and I saw that they have the 201 XM conversion kits in stock still. So I was like, that's interesting. And I don't think it was dear. I want to say it was around about 180 US dollars, which I don't think was particularly dear. So I'll put a picture up of what you get in the 201 XM conversion kit. So you don't get a wing, but you get a new body because obviously you'd have to cut the back of it differently. Um, you get a carbon rear shock tower because now because it's mid motor now the shocks are in a different position. Um, now I've pulled these pictures off of Google and I believe the link to, to Tamiya Club. Now unfortunately I'm not on Tamiya Club, so I don't know the members or whatever. I didn't want to go in there because I'm not on there and be cheeky. But if you type in TRF two hundred one XM, these pictures of this beautiful car just come up first in the search. So that's a picture of a finished TRF two hundred one XM. And I'm not a massive lover of that Tamiya body set, but as you can see from that picture, when it's painted correctly, it looks stunning. So I thought that just looks fantastic. Um, and here's a picture of the same car with the shell off. Now just have a look at that chassis. I know it's disguised because it's got the electrics in it or whatever, but that chassis is a little bit special. And here's a close, so I've just zoomed in slightly so you can just see that back end of that blue alloy. It is just incredible. I know that picture might be a little blurry, I apologise. So, yeah, my my fire was fuelled, um, and I kind of thought that was it. But I'm continuing on, and because now I'm searching and looking at two, uh, 201 XM stuff, I then find out that Tamiya raced this as a prototype, because obviously all TRF cars start life on or the buggies and touring cars. They usually start track start life on the track as prototypes with the team drivers. Um, banging them around the circuit and that's where I got to next in this rabbit hole so the 201 XM was the prototype car that both Tamiya drivers at the time were racing in 2013 so the legend himself Mark Reinhard was racing that that's a picture of him actually holding the 201 XM at the, one of the 2013 meetings super cool um, and then this picture is the same car, but that's with Max livery on it. Now, that has the Proline Proline Phantom TRF two hundred one XM body on it, and we're gonna we're gonna come back to that. At the same time, the second legend of the day, Lee Martin. This is a picture of his chassis. So they're both racing the same car again, the prototype two hundred one XM. Um, super cool. And as you've probably seen from the thumbnail I've used. This is Lee Martin's 201 XM in 2013 coming off a jump. And I just, as soon as I saw that picture, I, I, I was like, that has to be the thumbnail. And again, they're both using the Proline Phantom body set. I'll come back to that because that's important. So then I've got my project. As soon as I've seen that, I'm like, 100%. Didn't know this, didn't even know this car, ex 
didn't know you could convert this to this and then you could convert this to this and then add some more bits and you've got a replica of what the two guys were racing prototypes in 2013 so i was like so so at the same time as i'm finding these bits out i'm i'm like a deer in the headlights i'm just like it just i was so excited and i i just get i do get excited about this stuff so i'm talking to my good friend keith via email and i should say you'll know him better as rc icons on youtube check that channel out if you haven't now you long-term viewers know i'm really tight with uh, keith we, we we chat all the time so i'm keeping him up to date because it's, it's quite difficult there's not many people you can talk to about this stuff i'm learning all this stuff and so i'm sending him email oh this is what i'm going to do and i've just found this out and another email you know and he's coming back and he, he's loving it as well he's well he said he was loving it he was probably bored shitless of listening to me rattle on but um yeah we both sort of agreed what really cool sort of long-term project to do um anyway Saturday goes on and I've got no reply from this guy for the to buy his 201, so I'm messaging him again. And anyway, I finally got a reply. And it's getting a little bit late now. This is around about 6 p.m. on the Saturday, and I was supposed to be going early Sunday morning. So he finally comes back and says, Yep, yeah, no problem. It's yours if you want it. I said, Lovely. Send me your address and give me a time where you want to meet me when where you want me to go tomorrow morning, and I'll fire straight across. Um, it's about a two hour drive, and I'll come straight across with the cash. And he put, excellent, no worries. Message me in the morning and um, I'll send you the address. So I thought, that's a bit weird, but yeah, all right, no worries. That was it. Gets up Sunday morning, car's full of fuel, I'm ready to go, I've got the sat nav ready. Mess messaged the guy. This was literally about 8 a.m. 8 a in the morning. Messaged the guy. <laughs> Extremely long story short. Never come back to me. Never come back to me. Facebook Marketplace really does have the dregs of society on, and I know that's a bold, horrible statement, but it's 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 almost like Gumtree. I, it's just huge. The amount of wasters on there, it's just oh, so frustrating. So I sent him a few. Obviously, the day went on, and I've got I've got. Sorry, I should say. I did give him the benefit of doubt because who knows, you know, if something happens, something personal in your life or whatever. So I gave him sort of a benefit of the doubt for a, that was all day Sunday. By Sunday night, I was like, well, this, this isn't going to happen. But I kind of expected to wake up to something, a message Monday or Tuesday, um, saying, look, really sorry, this has happened. We'll rearrange it. Nothing ever came through. And then I went on and I saw it was sold. And I just, I, I sent a couple of messages. I was fuming. I'll just what an absolute waste there's nothing wrong with telling people do you know what I'm really sorry but someone's come he's offered me more money or he's more local it's sold but just to blank someone it just it boils my you know what sorry this is going on for a long time so Keith was messaging me in between have you heard anything have you heard anything I was like no uh, anyway, I think it probably this was probably Tuesday or Wednesday when that happened, and I was like, "Do you know what? It wasn't meant to be." Um, I I thought, well, actually, Keith had said he said, "Look, I've got a spare two or one that you can have." You know what Keith's like? Generosity knows no bounds whatsoever. So I was like, "No, no, it's fine." Um, it was kind of I kind of wanted that car with all the spares, and it was going to be exciting just to have that car first of all, and then get into this project later down the line and search for the bits and whatever um anyway yeah it just it, it end of that week didn't come so keith starts sending me pictures of this car his spare 201 <laughs> i've never met anyone like keith and he's like look you can have it i think off from memory keith's got a um, new inbox 201 to build and i believe he's got a brand new built 201 as well um if he may have another, another anyway he said this was spare it, it wasn't spare he gave it to me because he knew i was kind of gutted about losing out on this not so much about gutted about losing out on that car but it kind of killed the project that I, I was really looking forward to so it was like whatever so i think keith just went off his own back and he says look you can have this and he was sending me pictures of it i was like you sure so he's like yeah no problem anyway i know keith very well and I knew what he might be thinking, and that was Keith really likes, enjoys helping me out, and I thought he's going to start looking for XR and XM bits and stuff I need. So I did say to him via email a couple of times, "Don't 
go in and buy this stuff for me, you know, and because you, you have to stop Keith sometimes. As I say, his generosity knows no bounds. Anyway, it was all wasted breath. Um, basically, kind of sort of saying how excited I was about it, then how gutted I was, and then he took it upon himself to get all the bits for me and send me them, which is just off the chart. I know that narks a lot of you people. I've had emails, comments saying it, and I don't know. It's that's more on you than me or Keith. More so, Keith. You know, it's if you if you get negative from that again, that's something that's your issue. There's nothing wrong in this world with generosity and just someone being caring and nice. Anyway, sorry, I digress again. So, yeah, over the coming weeks after that, he, he, like, he got this and then he found the XR kit. He's got tons of contacts. And I didn't think, actually, I expected to find a second-hand one, you know. Um, and then he just, I got an email out below saying, I found your brand new kit, still sealed, as you can see, XR conversion kit. I have no idea how much Keith paid for that. But I can tell you this, it will have been a lot of money. Because all TRF stuff is a lot of money nowadays. I don't ask. If I asked, he wouldn't tell me. But, yeah, it was just crazy. And then when he found this, he went on Tammy USA and bought the XM. Well, I think he bought the XM first, the con XM conversion kit, just because it was um, there and probably didn't want it to sell out because they probably don't have that many. And then when it all arrived at Keeves, he put it all together and shipped it all onto me. But... When he was getting his car ready, we, we'd been talking for a long time, actually, about finding or maybe trying to make or get someone to make the Ex a copy of the Exatec Plus 8mm wheelbase extension for the standard 201. And because and Keith's got that many cars, he didn't know that this car had the Exatec Plus 8 on there, which is mind-blowing because that's kind of the first thing I would have looked for. So another email before he'd sent this, he goes, you never guess what. He says, that car I'm sending you has that on it, which is, it comprises of two parts. There's this nice, beautiful alloy blue bit on the top that extends at 8 mil, And then there's a plastic um, underguard that, again, both bits extend the car very well, 8 mil. So, yeah, that was just an absolute added bonus. And I was like, well do you want to keep that for yours? And it was like, no, but never sell it, you know, as if I would. Um, anyway, since then, he's actually found another Exotech Plus 8, so he's got his own now, so this is mine, um, which is mega cool, which I'll show you when I bring a camera over. So, yeah, hell of a story. Um, and now all the bits are here. So, you've seen the XR, you've seen the XM conversion kits. Um... Ages ago, Keith had already sent me a, a full set of Tamiya Big Bar shocks and springs, which are over there. So they, they, they go on the XM, which is mega cool. Then, a massive shout-out to Scott, if you're watching, who donated these wheels to the channel for me. Um, he'd offered me them ages ago, and I said, I've got nothing to put them on. So it's um, these are like TRF-style wheels, so the... Rears just go straight onto the, the pin, there's no hex, and then the fronts are bearings. So, um, DNO one, I had to look at the pack then. Um, it's a slightly different yellow, but I think once the tyres are on, um, and it's on the car, I don't think you'll know. So that'll give you some indication of kind of the colour I'm going to be using on the shell. Also, um, massive shout out to Dennis, my good friend Dennis. Um, you'll have heard his name before, Dennis is a racer. He drops cars off at his brother, Ken's. I go pick him up. I come back here, I make a video, give them back. And it just allows me to show cars that I wouldn't have in my collection and show you guys and girls. Anyway, he races TRF. And I've bought these bits off of him. Might not look like much, but there's three pieces of blue alloy in there. Two of them have a TRF 201 upgraded steering. Didn't know it existed. Never seen it before. It is kind of hidden away in the 201, but it had a spare set used. So when we get to this project, I'll be adding the blue steering set on there. That's cool. And there's also, there is the rear, um, rear arm pin um, in alloy, which is really cool because already here, I have the front version, rear, but the front of the rear. So the back arms will have the both Tamiya blue braces on, which is so cool. And also, the rest of that, now, I might make a hash of this, 
is the front arms and hubs of a team associated. Dennis has just pulled these off his race car because he's upgraded to something else. These bolt directly on to the 201. And why that's so important is that then allows you to use everyone's wheels with 12 mil hex. For some stupid reason, the 201 has these bearings and they're an odd size. They did, an, they did another axle you could buy which took a bigger bearing but they never they, as far as i'm aware they never actually did a 201 hex conversion which is nuts because all to pretty much all two-wheel drive cars have the 12 mil hex so you can use whatever tires wheels you want funny thing about that and i'm not getting into a rant about it i just don't understand why stuff like that isn't readily available from Tamiya. Makes no sense to me. But when I showed you that picture of Mark Reinhardt showing it, showing the car, talking about the car, and Lee Martin's car, I zoomed in on both, and they're both running 12 mil hexes on the front. That Tamiya will have supplied them. Why didn't you supply that with the kits? It's nuts. It really is nuts. Anyway, a little rant over. So, thank you to Scott, thank you to Dennis, thank you to Keith. Last part of the jigsaw was this Proline um, Phantom body. Now, Pro, when Proline did this back in, I think it was 2012, um, I think they initially did it for the TRF-201, but after that, they made it for some, a Kayosho, I think from one of the Kayoshos, and a team associated, I believe. So very, very similar looking shell, the Phantom style, but slightly different for the different cars. Anyway, I've seen people doing... I've done wanted lists, wanted ads for this shell. Never... It's super rare because it's discontinued. I don't think it's like... It's it's, it's not a super sought-after shell. you kind of got to be into this stuff to kind of want that shell. And it's a cab-forward shell, so it's not everyone's cup of tea. Anyway, there were, I've seen loads of people. I know loads of people looking for one. And I've done searches. Anyway... One night, I, I just typed into Google Proline Phantom TRF-201 body set. And I just started scrolling with the little bits that are coming up. Um, and I get to this tiny, well, tiny, but a small model shop in the US. So I've clicked on it, and I was like, why is it taking me here? So I've looked, and it's showing stock of it. And I'm like, well, that can't be right. So I've looked, and it, I could the buy it now is there, and I'm like... Okay, I'm, am I going to lose some money here? I think it was 48 US dollars plus 20 US dollars shipping or something. So I thought, do you know what? It is worth taking a flyer. If if I lose $70, dollars 80 dollars, I don't, you know, it's worth taking the punt. So I bought it now, put my details in, and then I was kind of forgot about it. And I was like, mm. two days later, I get your, an email saying it's shipped. So I'm like, okay, this is cool. It was really exciting because I was like, I didn't know what I was going to get because I didn't imagine a shop having a stock of this. Um, and then a week and a half later, it turns up. So I've opened the box and there it is. Brand new. Not much to see, I know. But um, yeah, all there with decals, wing. Just incredible. And it is genuinely the, what is it, Proline? What do they call it? Phantom Clear Body Set for Tamiya 201. XR, XM, and, sorry, and Kyosho RB5. Okay. I'm sure they do a different Phantom for a team associated. Though. And I do, I think they did a Phantom body set for four-wheel drive cars as well. But, again, no nothing about that. So when that arrived, I was just like, all right, everything is, this is just going to be, that's why I'm calling it my ultimate TRF project, because it's going to be so cool doing, doing each bit of this. And what I'm going to end up with at the end of all this is what Mark Reinhardt and Lee Martin raced as Tamiya team drivers in 2013. Okay, that floats my boat. So, absolutely mega cool. And I'll 100% be getting, sending this off for a professional paint job. I haven't quite made my mind up yet. I'm thinking kind of a TRF style, but the pink will be this neon yellow or whatever that colour is. So, it'll be kind of, you know, the sort of where it goes. It'll be free colour, start white. Maybe a bit of silver, and then it'll finish with this colour, which is going to be so cool. I do have, a, I do want to run this car when it's finished on an indoor carpet track. Definitely want to do that. So my plan is, for sure, where it's going to spend most of its life, it'll have these gorgeous wheels on with Tamiya Jill Block tyres, and it'll have the professionally painted Proline Phantom shell and wing on because the wing's very different on this. 
But then, because in this kit is a Tamiya body set, I'll just paint that up at a later date and cut it out for the XM car. And I'll just paint it and decal it myself. And then, when I get an opportunity at some point to, to run it indoor on carpet, I'll put Dennis's front end on so I can use like the carpet, Schumacher carpet tyres I've got, um, and the Tamiya body set. I'm golden. I don't wreck the body, I don't wreck the wheels. So I've got this little car to race, or to run round a carpet track, and then convert it back, and it'll sit for the rest of its life, looking damn pretty with the rest of the TRF cars. So that's the plan. Oh my god, this video's been a long one, hasn't it? I do apologise. So what I'll do is, I'll bring a car... Do you know what? The video's gone on too long. You know what the TRF Tour one looks like. It's mint. You're going to see this again very soon, and I'll show you the Exotech Plus Plus 8 in there. Oh, do you know what? It's going to make a ton of noise. Sorry. Too much noise. So what you're looking at is back here. Is that blue alloy brace? And it just extends the chassis by 8mm. And this gloss cut piece of plastic, I believe it is, that's the bottom of the Exotech. So, yeah, super cool. But again, you will see this when I convert this over um, to my 201. So, apologies, I said I was going to drag mine over and whatever, but 100% I've just talked this video to death. But. This might not be the greatest viewing at all, but again, for me, this is documenting what I do in the hobby. And to have a project this big, which has been so, which will have been so expensive, funded by Keith, RC Icons, you know, I have to show it, and I have to show it in detail as we go. So there's going to be at least another four videos on this as we go. But now I've made this video and I've put it out, that means I'm in the background actually doing this. So, yeah. Really happy. Get it finished for summer. You know, maybe even get it to Barnyard RC. Outdoor track on dirt. Oh, that'd be so cool. I've always wanted to run a TRF car in anger on a proper race track. You know, and I've got a few spares, so, you know, we can kind of do that. Anyway, I better show up. Apologies if this video's gone on so long. Also, apologies if I forgot anyone to thank you, if anyone sent me bits of this, but um, if you are interested, stay tuned, because we'll be back soon with part one of this, where we're doing the bog standard 201 first. So, as always, my friends, thanks so much for watching. It is honestly massively appreciated. Um, I'll forget the rest. You know what it, what it is. And as always, my friends, <sighs> happy hour seeing. Mm -hmm.